add those together and it doesn't look promising for Preston. Cash has left the club at an increasing rate with a total of 2 million spent in the decade. So, you know, sometimes you have to take your medicine and, and, and go to the next one. Welcome to Numbers Behind the Net. Every week we jump back on the football money trail, diving deep into a club's finances to uncover the state of play off the pitch. Today we set off for Lancashire to unravel the financial story of Preston North End. Flashback to 2014 and the Lily Whites found themselves in League One, the third tier of English football. However, that would change a year later with Preston winning the playoffs and with it a ticket back to the Championship. Since then, it's been mid-table consistency for Preston during their eight-year spell in the Championship. On the sidelines, consistency was also the name of the game. Just the four different managers have sat in the deep Dale dugout over the decade. Grayson, Neil, McAvoy, Lowe. Now let's turn our attention off the pitch. What unfolded behind the scenes? Preston saw revenue steadily increase in those early Championship years, and despite Covid disruption, Growth is back on the cards with Preston delivering their best revenue performance of 15.6 million. Let's uncover the driving forces behind this growth. Starting with match day revenues, Preston's 2023 performance delivered 4 million, almost a 1 million pound jump on the prior year. So what happened with the underlying attendance figures? According to the accounts, average attendances saw a 30% increase in 2023, rising to over 16,000. TV and league distributions unsurprisingly fueled the increase following promotion. From just 1 million back in 2014, these have now ramped up to 9 million. Commercial revenues haven't kicked on the same way, remaining at just over a million. And it's a similar story with rental income, bringing in a further 1.5 million. By league position, there are clear clusters between the Championship and League One. And on average, Preston have made 13 million in the Championship, double that of the third tier. Put you through the ringer this season, but but what a way to finish it! Yeah, I've gone through the ringer now for three seasons, <laughs> but this is a, the climax is wonderful. Now let's dive into profits. Unfortunately, Preston's bottom line isn't looking too bright. Except for 2018, they've been in the red every season and at increasing levels in recent years. In the championship, at least, there is a correlation between league position and operating losses. But Preston's bottom line was better in League One than in the Championship. So what's going on? We'll be back to profit in just a sec, but if you're enjoying what we do here at Numbers Behind the Net, you'd be helping us out massively if you click that subscribe button and you'll stay up to date with all our latest videos. Cheers for all your support, and now back to the PL. Let's tackle this with our PL walkthrough. Let's set the timer, grey out the revenue, and dive into staff costs. Staff costs have grown in all years. The sole exception, 2023, where staff costs dropped to 21.6 million. However, the absence of grey revenue means staff costs alone have been greater than revenue in every season. In COVID impacted 2021, they were almost double. This year showed signs of improvement with a reduction to 139%. So let's evaluate how these wage costs translate into points on the pitch for Preston North End. In League One, points cost just 80k in staff costs. After promotion to the Championship, the price of a point jumped to an average 300k. So even with staff costs alone, the financial pressure of life in the Championship is clear. Next up, operating costs. Again, these continue to rise steadily, although specifics are limited. But if we look at the EBITDA position, the Lily Whites have been in the red every year. Third, stadium and facilities. Expenses related to the stadium and other long-term assets have remained under 1 million, with the exception of 2021. Finally, let's see if there's any reprieve in our final bucket, transfer fees. The size of the transfer fee profits and costs increase as Preston moved to the Championship. The net cost over the last three seasons was 7.5 million, driven by signings such as Tom Bayliss, Ben Whiteman and Ali McCann. Healthy profits were made in 2018 and 2020, fueled by the sales of Jordan Hugill and Callum Robinson. It's clear that player sales have helped offset the club's operational losses, although not enough to get into profit 9 out of 10 years. Operating margins in the Championship have an average negative 78%, even more severe than League One. So, you know, it was a hiccup we could have done without, uh, but that's what it is, and life throws up loads of challenges. 
And what we have to do is to manage the football club to the best of our ability and crack on as business as, as usual. Let's see if cash aligns with the profit picture we've just seen. As usual, we're scrutinizing the combination of cash from operations and transfer fees. Cash from operations, influenced by EBITDA line items, definitely aligns. Cash has left deep Dell at an increasing rate over the decade. Across the 10 years, £79 million has flown out. Now let's shift our attention back to transfers. Do those big sales offset the spending? Transfer cash generally leaves deep Dell until 2019. And after a few seasons of modest inflows, it flips back to net cash leaving Preston. Over the decade, three million has been spent on transfer fees. Add those together and it doesn't look promising for Preston. Cash has left the club at an increasing rate with a total 82 million spent in the decade. So, you know, sometimes you have to take your medicine and, and, and go to the next one. So how much funding has been required? To offset those operational cash outflows, Preston have needed a total cash injection of 72 million over the last 10 years. The result of this, Preston ended the 2023 year with 88 million in debts. So will Preston North End be able to continue to fund the increasingly expensive life of a football club in the Championship? Only time will tell. Until next time.